Fire Life Safety Education Program of Cobb County Fire and Emergency Services actually began in 1978. Uh, a lot of people have the misconception that when we began our Safety Village program is when we actually started our prevention program on life safety education, and that's not the case. Uh, 1978, it took uh, over 30 years we've been uh, teaching uh, the students in the schools. When we first started the uh, Fire Life Safety Program in the fire department, we had one lieutenant and four firefighters, and they were the primary, they were the core teachers and instructors. However, we did use uh, several overtime firefighters uh, to help uh, teach these classes to all of the schools. And uh, so as we've evolved over the time, uh, what we've done is continue, the schools have continued to grow, and uh, we've had to in increase the number of firefighters that we were using. In the mid-90s, uh, the county manager, Mr. Hankerson, asked the fire chief at that time to find a way to be more efficient at the way we were training. The number of schools were increasing. We haven't increased the number of uh, instructors that we were paying. So uh, after much time, what uh, was decided on was a safe, safety village concept. And this safety village concept uh, was designed and put together and we opened the village uh, safety center in uh, 2009. And uh, since that time, uh, it has really increased the number of uh, children that are being able to be seen. The staffing, uh, as I said before, uh, one lieutenant and four firefighters, that is exactly what we have today, 30 years later. Uh, with the Safety Village, what we've been able to do is reduce the number of overtime personnel we're using. Uh, matter of fact, we reduced it 31 percent, over $100,000 that we're saving in overtime cost. We've also uh, estimated a, a cost savings of approximately $12,000 in mileage reimbursements for our instructors that were traveling to the schools instead of the children coming to us. Uh, another savings that we've seen is with the fire safety trailers that we were taking to the schools. Uh, we had one uh, that due to age had to be uh, retired. Uh, we did not replace that one because we have the safety village. That was a savings of approximately $50,000. The curriculum when we first started it focused uh, primarily on fire life safety education. We did meet with the schools and worked with the schools uh, to meet the curriculum and standards that they were looking to meet uh, for the state. However, uh, once we started the Safety Village, we've increased the curriculum and we've also brought in law enforcement uh, police officers that are there teaching as well. So we've increased from just fire life safety, uh, now we teach roadway safety, we teach pedestrian safety. Uh, with the introduction of the law enforcement, we're able to teach gun safety, stranger danger. Uh, the curriculum has increased tremendously from when we first started. To determine whether your prevention program, and, and fire life safety is a part of our prevention program, to determine if it's working, you really have to look at uh, your progress over several years. Unfortunately, people will not call us and say, I prevented something today, uh, so we never can really track that. So we look at over, over a period of time, and from what we've seen, uh, our fire life safety program is truly working. Uh, in 1993, we had approximately 470 structure fires. Uh, with about uh, 450,000 people in the county. Uh, in 2010, uh, the number of structure fires actually reduced. We went down to approximately 467 structure fires, although our population has increased to about 700,000. Uh, the other thing we look at is fire fatalities. Uh, over the years, our fire fatalities have steadily dropped, uh, and that's uh, something that we look at as a key point of our prevention program. The Safety Village itself is br broken into two parts. Uh, first is our Learning Center, which was paid for by Fire Fund, and uh, that's where the education, the classrooms are. And the, the back uh, side of the village is the streetscape uh, that replicates our community. Uh, it is totally sponsored by business community uh, through the Safety Village Foundation. And uh, although we have the program in place and it is working, uh, our village is not complete, and we would love to see uh, more participation from the business community uh, in our village. Uh, we know that this program works. We know that our prevention program is working. Our track records are showing that, and we want to continue that program. Mm -hmm.